And so here we have a description of psychic forces, which are the mental and the soul forces. And the expression of these is seen through the activity of the sympathetic nerve system and so forth, and how that interacts with the activity of the glands and the organs of the system. Okay? Edgar Cayce, when he gave each of his psychic readings, had this kundalini experience, this life force, move through the center as much as he's describing it here. And he gave that as a model in the revelation and, and deep meditation that to use those centers in that way for, for psychic development. In fact, this, here's a reading where they're actually talking about Edgar Cayce's process in particular. He said, in this body, Edgar Cayce, through which this is, then in the present emanating, the gland which, with its thread known as the pineal gland, is the channel along which same then operates. So we have the pineal and its thread or cord, and that's how this psychic process operates for Edgar Cayce. And with the sub subjugation of the consciousness, physical consciousness, there arises, as it were, a cell from the creative forces within the body to the entrance of the conscious mind or brain, operating along or traveling along that of the thread or cord, as when severed, separates the physical, the soul, and, or spiritual bodies. This uses then the senses of the body in an introspective manner. So he's tied together the whole soul, body-soul connection right here. He's talked about sympathetic nervous system. He's talked about the senses of the body, the sensory system. He's talking about the glands, uh, this cell um, that is awakened within the Leiden center, okay, operating along this cord or thread. So he's tied that whole system together and saying, that's how I give my psychic readings, utilizing that system, that energy. Okay, so here's a couple of instances of uh, people working with this energy, uh, 4087-1. For as we find, this entity has more than once been among those who were gifted with what is sometimes called second sight or the superactivity of the third eye. Whenever there is the opening then of the Leiden center and the kundalini forces from along the pineal, we find that there are visions of things to come and of things that are happening. So we have precognition and prophecy and so forth with this Leiden center, the pineal cord, and this energy that moves along it. This is what he was talking about in the book of Revelation. This is the process. This is what was happening to this young girl with the mania and so forth. She was having these spontaneous ex experiences without having any way to, to work with it. Here's another example. Have I ever caught glimpses of past lives, or are these things more dreams or fancy? Haven't we all wondered that, wondered that at times? And Edgar Cayce responded, the entity has caught glimpses of past lives when it has gone out of itself or has passed or has allowed the energies of the kundalini forces to pass along the centers of the body. Beware unless you are well-balanced in your purposes. So it gets back to focusing, have a, an ideal or purpose for working with these energies.